I get to review a lot of vacuums and a lot of robot vacuums. They're handy gadgets that can cut down on your cleaning time and effort by automating the work for you. I'm Erin from TechGadgetsCanada.com and RoboRock has an entire army of robot vacuums and cleaning devices. Today I'm looking at the RoboRock E5, which is a dual vacuum and mop at a budget price. Does this mean it's lacking in features? Let's dig in. An early heads up, if you end up liking this video and finding it helpful, to please hit that like button and consider becoming a subscriber. Both those things will help me keep making more videos that I hope everyone out there can watch, enjoy, and learn from. Let's take a look at what you get in this kit. There's the E5 bot, the charging dock and power cable, plus a remote control with batteries. There's also an optional use plastic floor mat to protect your floors from any residual wetness. This robot vacuum and mop unit, while it is smart, is maybe not quite as brilliant as some other bots out there today. You can schedule it for any regular day or time using the RoboRock app so it can clean all on its own, but it's understandably missing some premium bot vac features. Well, the RoboRock E5 doesn't have the same mapping capabilities as higher end bot vacs. This version does have dual gyroscope motion tracking systems, plus what I'll call internal navigation. So what does that mean and what's the difference? The bot knows where it's been and you can actually see a general outline of your house in the app, but you can't label the rooms and you can't tell it to go clean the bedroom only, for example. You also don't get any kind of details about what has been cleaned and what hasn't, unlike other smarter RoboRock vacuums. The internal navigation is really just for the bot's own internal use to help it plan the best route to clean your home. Now, I will also say the bot seems to struggle a bit with getting to all areas areas of the house, it's just kind of randomly finding its way around, so it's not ideal if you do need a specific room or space cleaned. But with that said, you can either drive your vacuum where you want it to go using the remote control, or just pick it up and put it where you want it, then restart it. Now all of this isn't meant to be a criticism, but I do want you to understand what you're getting with this bot. If you think you need more power or control over the bot, there are other robo rocks you can choose instead, but they do cost more. This vacuum and mop has a spot clean mode where you can put the E5 bot down near a mess or a spill and then open the app and hit the spot clean button. Same exists on the physical remote control. The remote is magnetic and you can put it on any magnetic surface. The E5 uses 2500 pascals of suction to pull dirt and debris up from the floor. It's also able to handle both hard surfaces and carpets with no problem. Soft floors may be a little different. You might have more difficulty truly getting deep clean on a thicker rug or carpet, but there is also a deep clean carpet mode. When the E5 detects that it's on carpet, it'll turn on what's called automatic carpet boost and increase the suction power to pick up more dirt. I definitely noticed this at work and after the E5 had been in a carpeted room, it made a noticeable difference. I put all my vacuums through tests where they clean things like fine flour, rice and cracker bits from both carpet and hard floors. The E5 performed admirably. It has a very methodical cleaning pattern, cleaning in circles when spot cleaning or linear rows on regular duty. It was able to pick up finer dust as well as bigger crumbs seemingly with ease. The E5 also has a climbing mode. It can climb up to two centimeters in height, allowing it to move over door frames or other transitions fairly easily. I will say it didn't get stuck on transitions, but this bot did have a penchant for getting caught on cords. Without artificial intelligence, like some of the newer pricier bots, the price you have to pay is you're going to have to pick up the obstacles and hazards before you send this out. I did also notice the E5 seemed to stall out mysteriously. I'd hear it go quiet and find it just randomly stopped somewhere. The RoboRock E5 uses a two brush system with a forked rubber corner brush and a larger floor roller in the middle. That side or corner brush will move dirt and debris into the path of the larger floor brush, which should drive the dirt into the vacuum itself. The dust bin on this one is actually a pretty good size, allowing you to complete cleaning without having to empty it as often. Dust bin removal is easy to do and the side of the bin swings open for dumping. The filter and the bin are washable too. When it comes to the mopping, you'll fill up the mopping plate, which is also the water tank. Smart design. Then just snap it into place. The E5 will dampen the cloth on the underside, and this helps keep dust down. Now this is not a scrubber and there's no suction, so it's important to understand this mop is really just giving a light follow-up wipe to the vacuum. 
You can't use cleaner in the tank here, and if it runs dry, the mopping will just simply stop. The E5 will both vacuum and mop simultaneously, but there is no lifting of the mopping plate as far as I can see when it hits carpets. Now, it didn't soak my carpets when it went over them with the mopping plate installed, and I didn't notice any major wetness, but if this might be a concern for you with the carpets or the rugs in your house, best thing to do when it gets near carpet is just to make sure the mopping plate isn't installed. The Roborock E5 has a 5200 milliamp hour battery that provides just over three hours of runtime. It'll take about three hours to recharge fully too. Overall, the Roborock E5 is a simple but capable vacuum for its price point. While it doesn't have a lot of the smart technology of newer bots, it's probably less than one-fifth of the price of those. Selling here for about $309, US it is much more within reach for a lot of shoppers. Plus, you're getting both a vacuum and a mop to help keep the dust down at your house. It's not overly noisy, and the slightly larger dustbin means less emptying. It vacuums really well, and it helps keep the house clean on the regular. Downsides to this unit. It does get caught up a bit more than some other bots, particularly on cords and cables, but it does let you know when it is and you can help unstick it. It's also missing a way to better manage the mopping plate when it's on carpets, in my opinion. But like I say, those are all things you can get in other bots. You just need to increase your budget. I'm stopping short of recommending this bot, not because it doesn't deliver on its promises, but only because I think there are smarter and more capable options, including some by Roborock, like the S4 or the S7, that actually give you more value. If you want to read this review or reference any of what I've talked about here, head over to techgadgetscanada.com where I've got a full write-up. There you can ask me any questions you have. You can also post them here in comments below. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Erin. Until the next time, you can find me on either Twitter or Instagram. I'm at ErinLYYC. You can also always catch me on Facebook at facebook.com slash techgadgetscanada.